In this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install and customize a trivia game. We recently made 12 trivia games. Uh, they are 12 different designs of a trivia game. Of course you can customize those games with your own questions and answers and just have a lot of fun. Uh, create, game, create a game that's very engaging that hopefully increases the uh, time spent, the retention in your worlds and, and leads to more visitors in your worlds. It is very easy to install, it is very easy to customize. Let me show you how to do this. The first step of course is to go to our website and I'm including links in the video description. But you can go to the website and you can get the trivia games over there. And well, the rest of the video will, will show you just how easy it is to install and how easy it is to customize. Once you purchase the Trivia Games Asset Pack, you will be given the editor access to this entire world of 12 Trivia Games. So now we're going to pick one of them and I'm just gonna pick the first one here. And I will add this game to my own asset library. So to do that, I'm just going to make a selection. I always start at the base and I select that entire game over here. And then I move my pointer here, the little hand icon, move the controller forward. And this is going to open properties for me. Sometimes you have to do it more than once. Great, and now this is where we create, make this into an asset. I click on this button here, new asset, and I'm just going to call it, you get to type in whatever you want, uh, mini game one. You can type in a description if you want, you can put it in your own folder if you want, Thumbnail, I like to create a thumbnail, so I'm going to click on choose and take a photo. Let's take a photo here. Here we go, this is going to be the photo for our asset, and then you click on create. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. Here it is, asset created, minigame 1 is now available to use in all of your worlds. Great, let's close it, close it, we can exit out of this world, let's go into a brand new world. I am in a brand new world, there is nothing here, completely empty, let's go ahead and bring our minigame from our own asset library. So I am going to go to assets right here. And right here, here it is. I have my mini game asset created. So I'm going to click and hold and wait a second. Here it is, it loaded. And I can put it anywhere I want in my world. There we go. And that's looking pretty good. The next step would be to customize it with your own questions. And this, this is really, really easily done. You see you have these three boxes on top over here. The first one, the first script, and really you don't need to know how to script. I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, the first script here, this is where you type in how many questions you want. You can have anywhere between one and 100 questions. So if you click over here, and go to the right side and click on this little pound or hashtag symbol. You see where it says number of questions? This is up to you. You can have one question, you can have 50 questions, you have to have 21 questions. Let's go with 21 questions. So my trivia game is going to have 21 questions. Great. Uh, now the second thing, we actually need to type in those questions, unless you want to stick with the questions we already have. But I suspect you want to type in your own questions. So to do that, you click on this one, 
This script is kind of like a bucket for questions 1 through 50. And there is a limit to how much text you can have per script, and that's why we had to break it into two scripts. This one, ha this one holds questions 51 to through 100. So let's take a look at this one, questions 1 through 50. Let's open it. Once again, we're going to look and on the right side, on the pound sign over here, and take a look at this. You have Q1. There is a little um, triangle that you can click on, and that's going to show you. This is where the question is. So in this case, what is the capital of, of Afghanistan? And you have four possible answers. And all of this, you can change all of this. You can modify all of this however you want. And then at the end, this is where you type in which one is the correct answer. So answer C is correct, you put C. If answer A is correct, you put A. B, C, D. So A, B, C, or D. And in this case, C, A, B, C is correct, so you put C. This is the correct answer. And that's it. And then you do the same thing for all your other questions and that's how you uh, customize the text of your trivia game. And now of course remember that you can customize the look of your game as much as you want. So of course you can go to uh, pick a different color for example if you want to color it with different colors you can do that if you can you can add other elements you can dress it up however you want uh, nothing in this game is locked all of it is completely unlocked so you can go in and change the different colors and uh, change the look of it as much as much as you want all right so this is how you install the trivia game and this is how you customize a trivia game it really is pretty straightforward